Hey crew, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are a returning OG. Yes, I am feeling myself because baby girl is looking good. So today I'll be showing you guys how I actually achieved this frontal wig ponytail. And it's not really going to be a tutorial, but it's just more so me showing you guys how I actually achieved this style on myself. But if you want to, you know, do anything that I did in this video, go ahead, boo. So getting right into it, y'all. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, your girl is on a lock journey so I have my hair twisted up so it can like you know do what it gotta do so I'm in like my baby stages of having locks so I am just moisturizing my hair because I thought I was gonna keep this ponytail on for a little bit but I lied okay <laughs> so I am just moisturizing my hair and throwing on stew top two stocking caps so that this wig can lay as flat as possible because it is a ponytail and you want your hair to be extremely smooth and extremely flat so because I had these twists in my hair was able to lay flat but at the same time it was still kind of poofy but I was not complaining because it actually turned out so freaking bomb so I'm just smoothing down my edges because baby girl them edges be touching my eyebrows so you know we gotta smooth them out just a little bit just a little bit so I did just go in with some cream of nature um edge control and that's pretty much all I use to get my edges to um, like you know lay flat now I'm going in with an alcohol pad and I am just cleaning my forehead because I am going in with the frontal so you know we need this to lay down flat so this is my unit y'all it is so raggedy it is so old and honey I finessed this hairstyle okay I am the queen of finessing baby I made it work and I made it look good so yeah, we just plopping that thing on so I can see the placement of where I want everything to go. And that is just what I'm doing right now. Just trying to figure out, you know, the placement of everything. I know I look like Edward Scissorhands right now. I know this wig is giving Synthetica, but just trust the process, okay? If you are new to my channel, y'all gonna hear me say that a lot. Trust the process, okay? Because, you know, beauty takes a lot of work. It takes, it takes a while to look this good. It takes a lot of work to look this good. So, just bear with me. Next, I took my Style and Shine Foaming Mousse from Cream of Nature, you guys, and I just put a bunch of that on my hand, and I placed that on my unit. Um, this is what I actually used to help mold my unit flat, but I just needed to get the hair out of my way so that I can actually melt this lace to baby girl's head. So yeah, I'm just combing that through so that the hair can get out of the way, and then I'm going to go into melting this lace. So to melt my lace, I'm doing it the old-fashioned way y'all I'm using the gray uh, not the gray the black tube of the got to be gel and I only did two layers of this because like in my head I kind of knew that I was not gonna keep this on a while and I was just like you know what after I'm done doing what I gotta do I'm taking this wig off so I just went in with two layers and I blow dried on cool air in between the layers and it took me about you know 15 minutes to actually get this you know get both of my layers done so yeah that's pretty much what I'm about to do now and also I did work in sections so I did the middle of my forehead and then I went on to both of my sides so I'm just gonna let you guys rock out watch me do that and I will be right back So once my two layers are finished drying, I'm going to take my wig and just press it into that glue so that the melts can, you know, start happening. Now, I told y'all that this wig was a little raggedy, so 
It's not plucked. It's not none of that. I done had this wig for some months now. I think it's almost approaching a year. So, you know, we not about to come for, you know, how thick this hairline is. But at the same time, my natural hair is thick. So that's why I didn't really, you know, care to pluck it too much. But, you know, it still look good though. So, you know, it don't even matter that, you know, my hairline a little bit thick. But I am just taking this comb and helping this melt into my skin and then I'm gonna take my blow dryer and then just blow dry on cool so then that the lace and the glue can you know just melt together and you know do 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 that stuff it be doing <laughs> So I did repeat the same exact thing to the left side of my head and the right side until my frontal was completely melted into my skin. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me do that. I ain't flexing like these bitches do. You can see it in my pictures, bitches, nothing new. I ain't talking about my revenue. Bless with every second that I get to do Exactly what I dreamed of when I was a little kid It's a dream, never thought I would get to live So now I ain't trying to catch up to you All I can be is authentic, you gon' get the truth It's the truth, hey I ain't really got no pain I don't wear no chain You know when you see me around town I be doing my thing I ain't really pop no tags Really got no sweat Trying to live life Every day say why I wanna leave it Can't name my price But I'm riding in a Beamer Yeah, yeah, ain't no two-seater More room to kick my feet up huh. Feeling like a boss-ass bitch these days Life is more than just getting paid Yeah, you could bet your chips Hope and wish and lose it all so quick these days Yeah, this is the gift mama gave me Yeah, this is the way that he raised me And when I get stressed I just remember I'm blessed Ain't no complaining I ain't changing I ain't really got no pain I don't wear no chain You know when you see me around town I be doing my thing I don't really pop no tags Really got no sweat But if you need something I probably got it in my Louis I got it, I got it That's the truth I got it, I got it Yes I do, I'll be up on me I'm lonely without my Louis Louis, on me Now that this lace is melted, I'm gonna take a Q-tip with some alcohol on it and just wipe around my lace just to get rid of that extra glue um, from the lace. And then I'm gonna take an elastic band and baby, I'm going to melt uh, this lace into my skin. So I'm gonna leave the elastic band on for about 15 minutes. This is just gonna be to help, like I said, the lace melt into my skin and it's just gonna make it look like it's growing out the scalp. So 15 minutes is up you guys and now I'm about to take this elastic band off my head because baby it's sure enough was giving me a headache okay. <laughs> so now that I'm taking the lace off I am going to get started with the actual hairstyle. So I'm going to take my comb and add a side part. Oh I lied. I am first going in to <laughs> wipe away some more of the glue residue. My bad y'all I'm jumping ahead and whatnot. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm getting into the actual styling portion of this video. Sorry, y'all. So I'm going to be taking my comb and I'm going to give myself a part. Now, this wig already naturally has like a side part from where I usually, you know, rock my side part. So 
I pretty much already knew where I was parting this wig at because that part is already plucked and it's looking, you know, decent, okay? So, um, right now, y'all just see me finessing this part and just getting my hair ready to get molded into, um, into my ponytail. So, I'm just going to take my hot comb, just go over the roots just to make sure everything can be as flat as possible. And then I'm going to go in with my Cream and Nature Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. And that is what I'm going to use to actually mold my hair. So, I'm going to just let y'all watch that and I'll tune back in when, you know, I got something else to say. So you guys my molding process was going real smooth and I just wanted to show you guys what the back of my hair was looking like because sometimes when I watch hair videos I get so upset when they don't show the back of their hair like excuse me ma'am like I need to see what's going on in the back like I need to see if it really look good so you know I just wanted to turn around so you guys can see what was going on and see how smooth it was laying with my big old head and my hairy old neck okay y'all I'm I'm a very hairy individual, don't come for me. I have not gotten my neck cleaned up in a hot minute. Babe, he been slacking, he ain't been doing his job. But anyways, this is what the back of my hair is looking like. I am really happy with how it is smoothing out. So now I'm about to just get my swoop action going and I'm doing the same exact thing that I did for my ponytail, just applying the foam and then just smoothing it out in the direction that I want it to go. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed You're staring at you on the set plane I ain't worried about that thing Cause you got me feeling like the Wayne Wade in 03 Yeah, you and me, we got the heat So bump all that anxiety But you hit to the side of me I feel like I'm gliding And honestly, look, I don't want you saying That you had a better chance without you me That you wish you had made plans without me Look, I hate to make this song about me Tell me what it ain't. Trigger happy, you looking by. I might just detonate. Yeah. Tell them dudes looking far back. Kidding the kill, I need all that. Let them call, but don't call back. Let them call, but don't. Uh. I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. That you wish you had made plans without me. Look, I hate to make this song about me. But I really want to tell you that I still get goosebumps when. 
Now you guys, my ponytail is all smooth and laying the way I want it to. Now I'm just about to fix up my baby hairs and mold those the way I want to. I'm not really a big baby hair fan, so I didn't really want to do too much like all the crazy curling and stuff. I just needed some simple baby hairs to make this lace and make this like, you know, whole style just look a little bit better. So yeah, just finessing up them baby hairs real quick. Say a drunk mind speaks over thoughts. So, baby, what are you saying? Cause I tell me one thing when you take them shots, but the next day you're just playing. Now baby, I don't need my time wasted. If you don't want me, then just say yes. Instead of calling up my phone when you've been drinking all night long. Oh. You're gonna act like you ain't saying. You're gonna act like it's a lie. You trying to play with my. So here I am you guys with my ponytail finish. My baby hairs is laid and slay and I am looking good. I didn't have to do all that sitting under the dryer. Y'all this wig is actually pretty thin so like it's not like I have to work with a lot of thick hair. So it was really easy to mold, really easy to put in this ponytail. So this is what I'm looking like. Everything looks flat, look nice. It looks real good. It's giving natural. It's giving my hair but better. <laughs> so now I'm gonna um braid this little um what is this called? This braiding hair into the ponytail because I wanted my ponytail to be extended. I wanted it to be a little bit long. I wanted it a little bit length. Okay, I wanted some inches, honey. So I'm just taking this braiding hair and braiding it into my ponytail. This braid was not neat whatsoever, y'all. Like this probably had to be the sloppiest braid I've ever done in my life, but you know. I just needed it to be able to hold on to my hair, which it did, okay? Y'all, this was definitely a spare of the moment type of hairstyle. Um, I actually did this hairstyle for my sister's wedding, um, which I will have a video, you know, showing you guys me getting ready for the wedding and all that, all that good stuff. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and your post notifications are turned on so you guys can get notified for when that video does drop. But, um yeah what you guys are looking at right now is i am feeding this the end of the braiding the black the end of the braiding hair into the braid because i didn't want my extended ponytail to be too long but i didn't want to cut this hair so i just crocheted the end of the braiding hair into the braiding hair then i took my bundles honey okay these bundles is super duper old they're like two years old but they're um extremely long um, I've had them for you know a while and I'm just gonna take these um bundles with some bobby pins and I am going to bobby pin this hair to my braid so I'm just gonna bobby pin the end of the track to the braid and then I'm just gonna wrap and make sure that I'm wrapping tightly so that my hair doesn't unravel and I pretty much did this until I got to the top of my little bun bun or ponytail <laughs> whatever it's called so yeah I'm gonna just let y'all watch that Thank you. 
Okay, so now that I have my hair all wrapped up to the top, y'all, I'm going to take a little piece of the hair from the bottom, and then I'm going to actually wrap it around my, like the top of my bun so that you can't see the track, so that it just looks real nice and smooth. You know, y'all seen what ponytails look like, you feel me? I'm doing that, okay? Um, so I just took my wrapping foam, put it on the end of the hair, and then just continued to wrap around. Then I went in with my Got To Be Free spray just to kind of help it stay into place and baby I was looking good okay so for this hairstyle I did go with like a looser type of curl I was gonna go with tight curls but baby I ain't had the patience to sit there and curl the ends of that hair mm -mm. so <laughs> I just took my big curling wand and I just gave myself some big curls but um yeah y'all this is what the back of the hair look like it's looking cute now my ponytail did get a little bit messed up from me putting the bobby pins in but it was fine it really didn't you know make a big difference to me it's not like i was getting like close-ups of my hair i just needed it to look nice which it did okay it looked nice it was a big finesse and baby girl i did that so yeah just uh like i said i'm adding some curls into this hair it took me no more than like 10 minutes to add the curls into the hair and i was looking real good real fancy i was feeling myself y'all and that is pretty much the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys want to see more hair content from your girl, let me know down in the comments below. And I got you. Um, But yeah, that's it. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Give your girl a huge thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel and join the crew. I'm sorry for my sleepy voice right now. It's super late when I'm filming this voiceover. But I love y'all for supporting my channel. And as always, be kind and be thankful. I will catch you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye.